All right, guys. Sorry about that. It uh, had to switch or download all the stuff so that I could come back down here and make some more videos. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, we've got our pure Afghanicus up here, um, some pure Fasciolatus. Um, we've got uh, Montana's cross to giant right there, just to see how big I can actually get them um, and see if that had any effect on it. There was a theory that uh, the giants are actually from Montana's blood. I don't believe it's true. Um, but uh, wanted to test breed it just to see if uh, if we were right or if we were wrong. Um, then we also have um, some marble dye stuff crossed to the uh, Montanus um, to try to get the albino out of it so we can actually breed it to other things. Um, we also have some uh, marble dye crossed to the dream sickle. Um, those were basically test breeding to see if the marble dye project was um, the same as the raptor, and it's not. Um, none of those animals came out with any eye pigmentation whatsoever. Um, so that's very, very encouraging that it's uh, definitely totally something different. Um, then we also have some uh, red eyed project, or uh, marble eye project crossed to um, Tremper Enigma without the raptor gene in it. Um, to try to throw the Enigma into the uh, Marble Dye project. Um, then we also have some other Marble Dye stuff down here. And then we actually have um, a few uh, Turkmanicus um, crossed to Dreamsicle actually down here, um, which these guys are really cool. Um, haven't seen any spinning or anything out of those guys, um, so hopefully that'll help clean it up a little bit. Um, then basically our Typhoon Hets, um, as I covered uh, before down here, um, these are all do like possible Hets down through here, um, and then we also have some actual Typhoons up through here, um, which I've already seen, you, um, I already sh showed you these guys on camera, but um, here's, here's another one, um, as he's like freaking, like going crazy, oh he's mad now, he just opened up his mouth at me. Um, but uh, this is a really, really cool project. Um, a lot of weird stuff popping out of these guys. Um, but uh, let's show you some other stuff over here. Um, these guys are from our stealth project, actually. Um, or actually this guy, I should say. Um, he's, got, he's got a really weird coloration to him. Um, like a, Almost like a yellow and lavender coloration to him with some weird striping. Um, he's also... Or, he or she is also an enigma. Um, then we've got another animal from the stealth project over here. Um, this guy's actually one of my favorites. Um, has like a lavender stripe down the back. Um, I wish it would focus a little bit better for you. Um, but you can still see the coloration coming in and the reverse stripe down the back, which is cool for an enigma. Um, this next one, um, let's see here, this is a radar. Um, this guy might be actually a radar enigma. Um, he just looks very different, um, kind of does, or he did like a weird thing whenever he was a baby too. Um, but uh, I'll try to zoom in on the eyes there so you can see. Um, just a really cool animal. Um, now he's got uh, some weird uh, markings on the back of his neck coming in, like uh, darker pigmentation. Um, as you can see uh, right there, but uh, just a really weird looking cool uh, radar animal. Um, this next one's from the Stealth Project as well. Um, really, really neat looking pattern to the back of them. Um, I think there's actually another one in here with this one um, that I'll show you. Yeah, that one has a little bit more of the, uh, the orange to it, um, but these guys are really freaking weird looking. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I don't know what he was just doing with his foot there. He must have, like, thought something was on it. Um, but the lavender on that is awesome. Hopefully it stays. Um, I think it will because they're past the point where it's, a lot of times it fades. Um, this guy is one of our SGR projects. Um, this is a snow. Um, it's also a raptor. Um, it's basically a snow glow raptor. Um, let's see if we can get a shot of the eyes here a little bit. Um, the camera's having trouble focusing. Um, but it uh, definitely has the eye pigmentation. Um, just a really cool looking animal. Um, it's like, uh, it's basically a snow um, hypo raptor, if you will. Um, I know that's kind of a contradictory term. Um, I should say red-eyed animal. 
um, but he's still really, really cool. Um, here's some of our G projects. Um, these guys are really, really neat looking. Um, I can get them off of the uh, container there. Um, this guy's doesn't have any bold stripe, uh, bold striping to it at all, but it uh, definitely looks like a bold. Um, and then this guy has some really weird coloration to him as well. Um, actually, I'm going to bring these guys over to the natural sunlight real quick, um, so you can take a look at it in some natural lighting. Um, these guys are just crazy looking. Um, as you can see, I can't do any camera tricks or anything like that, guys. This is this is the way they are. Um, these next ones, I'll probably want to bring them out. Um, I'll put their styrofoam back in a minute. Um, these guys I want to bring out the sunlight too, because these guys are monsters. Um, all right, that's in the gecko room, and you'll see the difference whenever we bring them out here to the natural sunlight. I mean, these guys are freaking glowing. Um, hopefully, there's not like a bad reflection there for you guys, but these guys are just awesome animals. Um, can't wait to see like how these guys are really going to turn out. Um, these are from the Green Project line. Um, you can see the lavender reverse stripe on these guys, which is very common in my green stripe green stripe line. Um, here's a better picture with half shaded um, of these guys. These guys are just amazing looking. Um, what else do we got here? Um, here is a Nova from our Afro. Um, so this guy is actually a Nova from Afghanicus Blood, um, which is really, really freaking awesome to have. i um, really happy with these guys. Um, they grow very, very fast, um, and they definitely do not have any, like, enigma-ish issues, um, which is very, very promising. I mean, these guys don't spin around. They don't act like they're retarded, if you will. Um, which I do have some enigmas that uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you um, that they actually do act really, really freaking weird. Um, but uh, this guy is definitely not weird at all. He's going to make a excellent, excellent breeder. Most of the Afghanicus uh, crossed the Dreamsicle stuff that I hatched out, um, I'm not selling because that's the ones that we're going to use for our breeders next uh, next time. These guys all hatched out um, yesterday, um, and I tried to show you yesterday on the camera, but uh, it just didn't work out that way. Um, this guy's a Maxno Reverse Stripe uh, um, from our stealth line, actually, um, which is really, really cool. Um, and then this guy actually hatched out the same exact day, um, and it is a reverse stripe from our Afghanicus Cross the Dream Sickle, um, which this guy is actually a reverse stripe black hole. Um, I don't know if it'll focus. Um, you can see the white on the nose there. Um, he does have solid black eyes, um, so this guy's a, a killer animal. Um, but uh, that's a lot of the stuff right there that um, I'm working on. Um, I'll go through and see if I can't find any more stuff for you guys to, uh, to drool over um, and show it in natural sunlight.